Hi, Mark the Snake Hunter here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Eastern Tiger Snake. Now, there are many types of tiger snakes found in Australia. The Western Tiger, the Chapel Island Tiger, the uh, Black Tiger Snake are an example of a few. But the most dangerous of them all is the Eastern Tiger Snake, found all across Victoria and on the eastern part of Australia, as the name suggests. This is the fifth most venomous land snake in the world, and they vary quite significantly in colour pattern, shape and size. Now, as you can see, this is another Eastern Tiger Snake, but with very different colours. But next flat out, um, and it's given me a big warning sign to stay away from it. Now, the rumour is that Tiger Snakes will actually chase you. It's just not true. Tiger Snakes will bluff or flatten their neck, but once you back away from them, they just want to get away from you too. That said, this guy here is typically a bit more assertive than the average Tiger Snake that I've come across. But he's not actually trying to chase me, he's warning me to stay away. Come here mate, it'll be okay. There we go. Now, as you can see from its colours, it's more of a yellow tiger snake. And if you look down the side, it's this beautiful yellow orange colour, I'm not very good with my colours, and the stripes as well. Do all tiger snakes have stripes? The answer is no. In Tasmania and um, some of the islands, Chapel Island tiger snake for example, you can barely identify snakes on a tiger snake. The one thing they all have in common is when they feel threatened and when they feel like something's not quite right, they'll flatten their neck out just like this guy is doing here. So, I'm often asked if little snakes are more dangerous than their bigger counterparts. Um, I'm also asked if they can't control their venom. The short answer is, tiger snakes are so dangerous, it doesn't matter how much venom they put inside of you, you just want to be away from it. Even little baby snakes like this guy can kill a grown adult. As you can see, it's a little bit fiery, still got the neck flattened out, but it just wants to get away from me, and that's the idea. The most common snake that I find in Melbourne is actually the Eastern Tiger Snake, as I discussed. Now, this little guy here is quite a common size to find around town. He's probably about one year old, was maybe born March last year is my guess. Um, they, they, as you can see, they do a lot of mock strikes and a lot of bluffing, but he doesn't actually want to bite me. All he wants to do is go away. Pay a lot of attention to the stripes on the tiger snake, hence how you can see they get their name. Now, the typical diet of an eastern tiger snake includes frogs, uh, lizards such as blue tongue lizards, mice, rats around the home. Uh, I've even seen them climb trees to eat birds and possums, but most, most commonly you find them as ground dwelling creatures. Now, tiger snakes you can find anywhere that you can imagine. They can crawl underneath the front door. I found them on windowsills, climbing up brick walls, in ceilings. I found them in universities, he's just giving me a little bit of a warning here. I found them in universities, uh, on rooftops, in garages, in cars, you name it. I found tiger snakes anywhere that you can imagine. The reason they go into your home is because they're trying to escape the weather or they're looking for food and water. So if it's a typically very hot day, they're just trying to get out of the heat or alternatively, if it's a cooler day, they might be looking for it. If there are mice around your house, the snake may be looking for mice or something to drink. The most common snake that bites dogs in Melbourne is the Eastern Tiger Snake. And make sure you check out my other videos about canine snake avoidance to keep your dogs safe from snakes. So my favourite snake in my entire collection is this tiger snake here called Ginger. It's appeared in the media more times than any other snake that I'm actually aware of. Every time I get photographed about snakes and the media want to see something. She's very well behaved, she's very used to me, and we've got a good professional working relationship. That said, never trust a snake. She doesn't have feelings, she doesn't love me. If I were to die tomorrow, she wouldn't care about me, and given the opportunity, she'd escape and travel through people's backyards to try to find mice or lizards or something to eat. One common place that I found tiger snakes is actually in swimming pools, dams, or water bodies around the home. Tiger snakes are amazing swimmers. Also, Weather doesn't matter to a tiger snake. While most people think that you see snakes in summer, I found tiger snakes all year round. These snakes are designed to be able to handle the extreme temperatures, cold and hot, that you find here in Melbourne. The size of the eastern tiger snake can vary quite significantly. Now, at birth, they're only about 10 to 15 centimeters long at most, and the biggest on record is about 2.9 meters long, which is just enormous. There are lots of stories about very big tiger snakes.
In terms of birth, tiger snakes give live birth of typically between, from what I've seen, about 10 to 15 babies, but it can vary quite significantly. Allegedly, the record is 109 babies, but I'm not so sure about that being 100% true. The venom of an eastern tiger snake is one of the most potent in the entire world and it's extremely deadly to humans, which is why I say make sure you never go near one of these snakes and never copy what you see me doing in these videos. The venom contains extremely powerful neurotoxins which can cause um, paralysis and muscle weakness. It contains venom that, it, that affects um, clotting, so it affects your clotting in your body as well. And the venom also contains myotoxins which can destroy your muscles across your entire body. All these venoms take effect simultaneously and if you are bitten by a tiger snake you can die in as little as half an hour. If you get bitten by a tiger snake you need to seek urgent medical treatment. Now, there is a rumor that tiger snakes cause dry bites. However, this is not a very common circumstance. It can occur. However, I don't want you to think that if a tiger snake bites me, that's okay, it's just a dry bite. If you get bitten, make sure you go to hospital straight away and let the doctors tell you that it's safe to go home. Mark the snake hunter here, thanking you for paying attention to this video. Make sure you never copy what you see me doing right here. Snakes are incredibly dangerous and you need to be a trained professional to handle them. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media at Snake Hunter Oz. Remember, if you see a snake, don't try to touch it or handle it yourself. Give the Snake Hunter a call 0403 875 409. Now I've got to get this girl off me.